Good morning, everyone. It is day three of the build series. Um, the first two were the dig. If you guys haven't checked that out, go ahead and check that out. Um, a link in description below. But we are going to be setting pool panels today, and I'll be showing you all the ins and outs of that. It is absolutely freezing out here. The hole's full of water. The pump tripped somehow, but I got it working. Um, the equipment's cold, frozen. All my locks are frozen. It is bloody cold out here for us in Indiana. Uh, it's about 25 degrees with some wind and out here where it's super flat, out here in paradise, as we call it. Um, <laughs> we, it gets cold, man. So we're braving the cold today, but we are gonna be showing you the layout of the uh, pool panels, how to assemble them, how to uh, level them, where, where exactly everything is put, and how we do it, why we do it. So stay tuned and uh, let's get going. Just a little side note. This is why we call it paradise. Open country, got your lake, your pond, just land. The homeowner owns all this. He's got his rec center here. It's just lovely. It's beautiful, beautiful. What the fuck? You just sunk that ship. Good job. You're fired. This is why I'm waiting for the water to pump out. All right, guys, we got all of our panels laid out um, in place. We've got a skimmer down there, and then we've got another skimmer here. There's two skimmers in total. Those are going to be four returns. Boom, 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 boom. That way all the pressure just pushes around into the skimmers and it flows out. Got all my turnbuckles laid out. Laid out pack over there, pack over there, pack over there, and the rest right there. And then we got the corners, obviously. All right, so we're going to start over on this side. Get them all buckled together. I'm going to show you guys how we lock them in together. Some little tricks. Um, it's really pretty simple, to be honest with you. This is a, a simple system to put together. Um, and then uh, once we get them all locked together, then we'll begin leveling and squaring it off. Starting to warm up out here. It's not freezing cold anymore. Um, the water is mostly pumped out over there. So let's get to it. It's a pretty simple system. We're just hooking them together, panels. He's putting in a washer. And uh, another washer over here, and then a nut, bolt them in, every one. And we'll do the four of them, and, um, and then we'll wait. The turnbuckle goes up here and down at the bottom, so you do those last.
real quick not talking to you we got these uh panels up it's such a big distance i just took a turnbuckle bolted in and put a stake and that way it keeps it from going back and forth because these things will fold when they get too big comes a problem but now we're like a foot short over there so we need to pull it this way and then we'll be on track and then we'll uh keep going with the panels set go how much all right lovely just had to move that down we're good yep keep going all right guys listen so we're gonna put in this deep end ladder um it's a two foot section so we got a four foot panel to make up our six and then um so what we have with these notches let me pull you down here all these things interlink together with little circle notches so these are going to be in the way so either you get a sawzall or a fine tool i call it a fine tool but it's a multi-tool whatever you want to call it and just cut them off and then uh we just keep going we'll have to pre-drill some holes and uh that's it i mean it's pretty simple nothing to it Put this out of the mud. Okay, grab the drill. You know what we need? We need some C clamps. I've got, I had some too. Those ones we use for cabinets. We took them out, didn't we? Who were they? They were in that, that Milwaukee case. I took it out. You got the brand new one full mud already. I didn't do that. <laughs> Mark them. What did I do? Seventeen by two and five eighths. Mama never said I was a smart man. There we go, pre-drilled, ready to go. Now, honestly, could have saved some more time if we'd had some clamps, uh, C-clamps. I think we'll get those. I got them at the shop. Bring them, make it a lot easier. There you go. The deep end ladder, put some rails in the concrete. Done deal. All right, y'all, we got everything set up. We got the footers cleaned out. There was some mud in there. I got my transit set. Um, with this pool, we got a lot of variants. We can kind of go up and down wherever, but um, the highest point of my footer is level because I've already checked it on the dig. We got some low spots and whatnot. So what I did, what I do on uh, most pools is I'll just set the transit up and then I'll get it to beep level. And then um, I go off that off my highest point and then I jack everything else up. Um, that's the easiest way and digging out stuff is just not acceptable. It's, it's the waste of time. It, it eats into your time. It's almost impossible to do just because you don't really know where everything's at. And, um, 
it's a nightmare. So that's why you can kind of, you know, vary your footer when you're digging uh, in a little bit up and down. It's okay, but it can't be too high. It can be a little low, but it can't be too high because you just jack it up. So I got a scrap pallet, and we're going to use um, those pieces to jack it up level. And um, and then we'll put in our turnbuckle. So jack it up. good you gotta get them shims and you know sometimes sometimes you can just beat them down make them good um but this is how we do it man pretty uh pretty basic nothing crazy Why is that so high? when you jack this up right here that'll go down don't you think yeah that's what it is that's what it is. Okay, I'm just going to pick this thing up. That's going to be like two or three. Or three. No. A little one, come on. There you go. So it's got to go like, like three quarters. It ain't much. Ready on three. One, One two, go. Whoa. Whoa. Too much. Fifty-two at six. Yeah, we went too much. Do half pull net this time. Huh? Do like a half pull. All On right. three. One, two, three. Put it again? Yeah. That should be 52, six and a half. All right. Right there, perfect. Lovely. All right, y'all. We are square now. You can't. With these panels, since they're not level yet, you have to square the bottom. And so this one happens to be 52 foot, six inches and a half. And uh, that's dead on square. So we're gonna begin setting the turnbuckles. And I'm gonna show you where we're holding it on our square point. Right here, either this side or this side, it doesn't matter, but I always hold it right here. And then on the other side of the pool, on that corner, so it's, you know, this side of the pool, this side of the pool. And that way you got a perfect square. So what we're gonna do is start getting our turnbuckles set. We're gonna set two turnbuckles per corner. Boom, boom. We're gonna make sure before we set the turnbuckles, we're gonna check our level height, make sure it's good. And then once we set the corners, we are gonna begin um, straightening in between. Dang. Where's my level at?
All right, man, it's that simple. Literally put a bolt in, tie it in, another bolt, tie it in, drop your stake in, bolt it. It's easy, man. Easy money, right? Um, you know, the conditions on this job makes everything a little bit more harder. But we're working in cold, cold weather. And it just, it just makes it a little more challenging, but you know, who's not up for a challenge, right? So it's pretty simple. Um, we're gonna throw all these in and then we are gonna um, take off for the day. So it's gonna be a two day setup on this. Tomorrow we're gonna come back and form a bunch of stuff up. We got a corner seats going in. The customer just added that and we got the bench going in and then we got the center turnbuckles. Um, all right, so what I didn't tell you was after you get everything in, all these tied in, what I ended up doing is stringing a line. I already have my corners set, right? They're square. I set my stake. Like This one I did 12 inches because there was the footer was crooked. 12 inches, set my stake, set my stake, ran a string, and measured off and set all these bottom turnbuckles, and they're all perfectly straight now. And then, same thing on the other side, and then here, it's pretty much the same thing. And then what I did was I bolted all my turnbuckles in, left the bottom bolt in. I didn't do it, but I should have on the other side because it was really bad. Uh, it's crooked on the top <clears throat> and it really affects it. You know, it doesn't make it right. So you want to leave that open because the stake hole might be different, high or low. And that way you can beat it to whatever you want. But set the bottom and top and then you'll run your string line all the way around. I put my screw right here. Run my string, get it decently straight, and then I'll bolt in my stake. And then I might have to tap it in a little bit more to get to the right hole, and then it's good. And this one actually, we're gonna have to jack up a little bit and fix, but um, that's not too big of a deal. That side's already been done, and then everything is perfectly square. You wanna make sure everything is perfectly square before you put in any um forming because once you put the forming in it's impossible to anything square for that because it's all tied in with screws and whatnot so make sure that that's a must look at them baby lovely absolutely beautiful so we made these i had eight foot pieces of lumber uh pieces of lumber i had eight foot uh two by twelves and then i got you know two ten footers um i made this an inch and a half short so the eight foot would come to here and that way it's perfect square so it's a little shy of eight foot and then so on these are foot apart foot foot and then um this system's pretty easy it's something i've developed with my forming is i will put three screws on the back into here and then i will um, put through these three screws here and that way when we strip them it's all easy so doing these three all of them i do all the same and then um, I'll drive uh, stakes. On this one, it's only eight foot sun deck, eight by eight. Um, so, you know, I put one, two, three. And then like on a 16 foot, I'll put like five, but this is good. Um, put the stakes in, run my string lines on the inside. Always run your string lines. I already took them off, so everything's perfect. Um, and then you can see it. I mean, this is it. Everything's braced off really well. I got my... Um, braces here come down those are everything here is super super important can't skip a step on these because there's a ton of weight it goes on these things uh, with these two these are for the bottom so the bottom doesn't tow out and you might think oh it's pretty strong with a two by six but believe me it's not as strong as you might think not when concrete's hitting it um, we've got two more steps to do yet we got to we're gonna drill holes, uh, one here and one there, all the way down. Boom, 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 boom. And we're gonna run our all thread in. Um, I've showed this on other videos, but not this one specifically. And then we'll tie the all thread with a nut and washer, and we'll tie it into the wall, just like a concrete footer wall if you've ever seen that for uh, for you guys that build. So it's a pretty, it's a foolproof system. I've had some blowout on me. I've had some bow and um this one really works perfectly it's never failed on me yet so 
um, you know, this is the only way I'm going to do, I'll do concrete steps and uh, it works perfectly. So uh, easy to strip, nothing's in the way, you ain't got no problems. And this one, I've never done one like this actually, but this, you know, I've got everything braced off in the back and this is just leverage. I mean, it's, this is being held up, you know, it's not going anywhere because it's pushing against and then this one is pushing up against that and so it's not going to go anywhere so you're good um, everything is being supported off each other and you are uh, you are solid all right everyone it is day three and uh, we are going to be done today i promise because i am not coming back here to do all this tomorrow because it's supposed to be snowing um, so we're just doing a bunch of little details uh, this should be the final day. We're getting everything wrapped up. All right, it's real windy out here, so audio might be a little weird, but I got all these, just some makeshift forms for the footer. It's all I need, because um, this is all gonna be gravel. Uh, I just stay away from my pipes. So I kind of pieced it in there, all the way around on the edges here. You can see I got them all the way down. Um, so that's gonna keep all that concrete in. I got, a bunch of bracing i got one two three uh braces for the for the sun deck so no gravel concrete pushes it out um these things here i always like to use a two by six or a two by ten or whatever i have um works really well for standing on when we're pouring the concrete and then i got some here um, the guys are now doing the inside um, so no concrete comes out per usual super important it always makes everything so much nicer and then especially when like the dirt's uneven in the dig and doesn't get exactly perfect it can all be really nice and the concrete can get under there the concrete will just get all the way underneath those forms without spilling out and that way it's really solid all that weight from the pool there's not too much weight you just really got a slab going on top of this. Um, that way it's all secure and it's all solid. Got my sump pump tube in. All nice. These are my seats. Got them braced off down there. Got three stakes in. And then we're going to do the same thing we did over there. Put all thread ties in. One here and then one at the bottom as low as we can go. And that should be secure. Here's an electrical box that uh, Dom tapped into. And uh, these are, uh, that's where he spliced in the wires for the, uh, for the late clean out's done. Uh, we rerouted the sewer. So that's a clean out. Um, it's all rerouted, got gravel around it. Um, and then, let me show you here. Filled this all in right here. Capped off. So all of our details are done. Um, got all most of our electrical done, so we're ready for the footer. He got it all done for me. We'll end up burying a couple of those electrical lines. But um, just all those details are important. Making sure on your pool uh, that they're all done. You know, making sure everything is done right and everything's efficient, running good. So we got all of that buttoned up. So we'll extenders sleeves um, I'm like an inch short so I don't know how this is gonna work exactly I think I'm gonna have to cut these short and then um, add on to it and use this so this because I don't have a hole big enough for this so I think I'm gonna cut these like four inches short 
and then use that piece to um yeah actually yeah all i gotta do is cut it like five inches and then put it back on and it'll be perfect slick oh yeah i'm a genius let's get the bottom ones done hey do the bottom ones first huh so you're not so you're not walking over you got to get down on your knees It'll be a lot harder Here. Hey. Okay. looks like he's gonna uh, finish straightening these when he tightened the turnbuckles it tightened them too much in so he's gonna straighten them with the line again we're getting our line snap for our concrete and uh, making sure we're three and a half inches and the rest is concrete man it's just a big old full of concrete that whole step